shit. Gamaco, knife making supplies. We bring in a lot of steel from overseas. Um, a lot of it comes in cold rolled, a lot of it's hot rolled. Um, either way, it can come in from the factory bent. When they cold roll it, um, the, the sheets are basically flat under their waist, but when they cut it into strips, it just bows, the strips bow. All right, so that's quite common. In fact, most steel that, that comes in has some level of bow in it, which you might be able to see a little bit down that. That's the O1. Uh, the particularly bad stuff in the last couple of shipments has been 1095. All right. It doesn't bend, typically, or it can bend during shipping, and we do offer the service of strapping it to a piece of uh, wood that costs extra um, if you want us to ship like that. But a lot of people tell me, oh, I've got no methods to, uh, to straighten it, and um, they don't know how to do it. So I'll, uh, I'll give you a bit of a demonstration. So what we've got now is a, a piece of steel. We're just going to pound in the vise, like that. Simple as that. Now looking down the steel, just my eye, we can see basically where the bend is and it's curved along the length of the steel so I'm just going to get most of it out just real easy, taking it a little bit at a time until we get it reasonably straight. Now from about there, if I look down, from about there, it's reasonable. I can do it a little bit better, smooth that out a bit. Extremely straight to that point. Come back over and so now we're all right up to about there. And all we do we just keep progressing through the vice. All right, so just shoot down that now. So uh, hopefully you can see now that's pretty bloody straight. Okay. Sometimes you end up with a little bit of a bow in it. So you find out where that is by looking down. And you can see there's a bit of a bend about there. And we'll just move that up in the vise. Spot. I just overbend it a bit there. Yeah, that's pretty much better. And now just checking with the straight edge. And there's no gap at all. Actually, that's uh, a tiny little bit just there. I could muck around with that and get that out as well. But for the purpose of the exercise, that's how it's done. The thing you've got to know, though, is <coughs> the steel's got a lot of internal stresses being cold rolled. And um, you need to... Uh, you need to relieve those stresses before you quench, because it can bow back. 
So the way to do that is to heat it up above uh, your critical temp, and you should do this with any carbon steels. Heat it up above your critical temperature, and um, so the magnet won't stick to it. Bring it out in the air, and just let it air cool. Do that three times. Then, heat it up above your critical temperature, and, um, and quench. Your critical temperature and quench. And, um, you shouldn't have any trouble with bowing after that. So, there's a few common um, problems from knife making solved for some people, hopefully. Thanks.